here we go. Hello everyone, I know it's been a while since I made a video and I am really, really sorry. I want to apologize for not being able to update you guys of what's happening in my life. I know I've been MIA for the past few months, probably had been a year, <laughs> um, but I know some of you I have updated already and some of you I haven't, but this is why I am here and making this video. So first of all, I just want to thank each and every one of you who supported me from day one. You have no idea how that totally changed my life since you have said yes to supporting me. And I just really, really want to say thank you. Thank you so, so much. My BSSM experience in first year, I just kind of want to dabble on that because I know I said that I'm going to update you since I made a video about my BSSM when I was in California and I never updated you again. And so here I am updating you. <laughs> so if you guys didn't know yet, yes, this is an update video. <laughs> yeah, so my BSSM experience in first year is definitely one of the highlights of my 24 years of existence in this world. My most wildest dreams, I have a thingy typed over here so that I will not go sidetracked, which I probably have done in the past two minutes. So my most wildest dreams um, that I have never thought has been fulfilled since I went to first year in BSSM. I am so mind blown that the things that I have prayed for since I was a kid happened and that's because of you too because you said yes into supporting me and i really 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 want to say thank you and i couldn't express that enough i know i'm you know look like i'm goofing around but i think i'm just trying maybe not to cry <laughs> in the process of saying thank you because that's how grateful i am and yeah i just couldn't express this and ex see I couldn't express it I couldn't express it enough how thankful I am so I've grown so much since I went out of my comfort zone I left my job that pays well I left my family and friends to see something that I thought was impossible for me to even see for myself and when I told my family and friends that I'm doing Bethel with no visa no financial stability or no not no even means i've never actually been able to travel outside of the country during that time and god has really shown me that he can do something impossible as that and you know like that is my testimony now and that, that is forever one of the greatest things that i would love to share to people how god has provided for me how god has show me that there's a way when there is no way you know like it's crazy and i know you already know that because with my first video that i've shown you or i've shared with you guys you, you already have a glimpse of what that side of my journey looks like so i would say um that my battle experience definitely have stretched me and molded me i've raised so many questions and received so much in such a short amount of time and it's so amazing i think my experience really pushed me to decide for myself who god really is as my personal lord and savior um yes my parents have guided me well in the truth and i am forever forever grateful for that and i think now that i am older i think god really took me on an adventure of fully knowing him in a much more personal manner what I just really love about Bethel is uh, the community. It's so, so good. The people just love well, they encourage you and support you, and they correct you with love and cover you so well. And that's just what I love so much about being in this environment. And 
they see me how God sees me which I always have dismissed in my head for some reason and now I feel like that's one of the biggest breakthroughs that I got from first year is I now see myself but I know I'm still in the process but I am slowly seeing myself how God sees me and how that is important and I think that's one of the biggest breakthroughs that I have in first year is knowing my identity who am I in Christ and I think knowing that first kind of just like spreads out you know like it it just helps me identify the things that I need to surrender to the Lord and the things that I need to work on with my walk with him and I really hope that you who's watching this could experience it yourself I feel like Everything that I would say in this video is just a very tiny glimpse of what it's like to be in that environment and I love it so much and I feel like a big part of my breakthrough came from the community where I got to grow and there's just so many good things that I just want to share in this video but I, I don't think I have enough time to do that but I really hope that you guys could see that you, if you guys could visit me in Bethel in Redding, California, that'd be super amazing. I would love to have you guys and show you around and show you this awesome community that I got to be immersed in in 10 months. So fast forward, I am here to announce that I am doing second year. What makes me so excited about this amazing opportunity to take on another year is second year is all about practical ministry. And what I love about this is I'm going to be learning from leaders that I look up to and they're just going to tell us their experience and how to navigate through the practical side of ministry. Because sometimes when they ask you, you're doing ministry school? So what do they teach you? You know, you're just going to love people, man. No, you have to just, you know, like, forgive. No, like, they're going to teach me how to do it. <laughs> I've been on ministry for so many years, and to be honest, there are some things that I'm like, how do you actually do this, <laughs> you know? And I'm so excited because second year is about that. They're going to teach you how to do this, how to, like, practical side, and, like, how to... Um, work with people and how to how to minister to different types of people how to minister to different types of kids and you know situations and stuff like that and yeah i'm just really excited and i've heard so many great things about second year and i just just cannot wait i'm so excited and i know you're probably wondering hazel how are you going to do second year with everything that's happening the pandemic and in america there's just so much chaos and this is why i actually made this video is not just to update you with what's happening with my life but also to invite you once again to partner with me in my second year journey you know from the very beginning of me saying yes to do another year god has just been so encouraging even before i posted this video i am so mind blown and amazed by the generosity of the people that God has used to provide for most of my needs in second year. With that said, I still have some expenses that I still need to get paid. So I'm going to post it right here, the things that I need. So if you feel like you want to support a specific area or a specific item, please let me know. It could be as specific as, hey, Hazel, I really want you to treat yourself with a frappuccino at Starbucks. Or it can be you know very specific with like hey i want to pay for your gas to get to school because i'm going to be carpooling with people and so i'll have to like pay because i don't have a car so like things like that and i would really really appreciate that if you guys could give and support and really every penny counts and any support that i can get would be amazing and if you cannot give me financially that's also okay i would really appreciate if you guys can pray for me throughout my whole journey and um, please send me a message also that would be very encouraging if you can send me a message of a prayer um, you know little things like that mean so much to me also so yeah also fun fact today actually marks the 
last month that I'm going to be in the Philippines. So Tim and I are going to be flying together a month from now back to California. And I am super excited and please pray for safety. And I know with the virus still going on, you know, a lot of things can happen in a month. And so I really hope that the borders would still be open. I have been trying, like, keeping myself updated to see if they're still, you know, accepting students in the country and stuff like that. So please pray with me that everything will just be, um, by the time that we're flying out next month, it's just gonna be a little bit more calm, you know, it's, it's gonna be like traveling will be smooth and stuff like that. But yeah, so, so you know, a lot of things can happen in a month and I'll keep you guys updated. But thank you so much for being in this journey with me. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to message me and yeah i will try my best to keep you guys updated but for now thank you and i love you and i will see you guys real soon love you guys everlasting one nothing else compares to knowing even see for it yourself and see it yourself for yourself see Self, you, me, everyone. <laughs> okay, um, so thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's my boyfriend supporting me. Um, hold on. Excuse me. <laughs>